All right. So my machine today is four and six, and it has been like since one day since I haven't done so much machines, so it's not that short. Um, so my machine today is four and six, and as you can see here, it's no description. It's not available. So I think we need to figure out that we need to go to root the machine and find the flag or whatever in the root directory. Okay, just before diving in, let me first show you I was asked to show how to configure the network settings before doing the machines because some of you are having problems in setting up the machines or setting up, setting up their own pen testing labs. So let me first go over this and then we will go right after our machine okay so first i used virtualbox for the four and six and recently i've been using <coughs> virtualbox for uh, most of my machines because uh, i started having issues with vmware regarding network connectivity so basically here is my machine after you import the machine you need to go to settings and go to network and here if you are using VirtualBox and VMware simultaneously I advise and recommend you to use bridge adapter or the bridge connection and here choose your network adapter make sure that after you choose bridge adapter to specify which adapter you wanna use okay so in my case, I used my original Wi-Fi adapter, so that's for the network part. Okay, now I choose the bridge because um, I'm using here the VMware. So uh, if, uh, unless I um, uh, chose bridge adapter, I will not be able to choose NAT because the network or the IP address will be different. So if you choose here bridge uh, bridge connection. Make sure if you are using VMware for another machine to use. Um, so make sure to use also bridged connection, okay? So that the IP addresses for both machines are identical to your own I LAN's IP addresses, okay? So if you are using VMware for both machines or virtual adapter for both machines, so of course you're gonna make sure that you choose bridge adapter or the NAT network okay don't choose NAT network for one machine and bridge adapter for another machine okay so both of the machines need to be on the same page either bridge connection or NAT connection so that's it for the network part okay basically this is the most part people are having trouble with so that's why I wanted to make uh, a statement for this okay so and uh, I have received so many questions about uh, some people want to do some machines because we have a bunch of new machines as you can see here and vulnerable hub has recently added the new machines here so we have a lot of work to do we have the besides TLV which contains so much challenges and we have like Lombio Rotating Fortress CH4 in URLs Bulldog 2. Basically, I did Bulldog 2, but I didn't uh, do the walkthrough yet. So, I will do all of the machines as I used to do, basically. So, don't worry about this. Just sometimes I am having a hard time doing the walkthroughs because I feel like short on time. So don't worry about this, I will be solving all the machines and today my machine will be 4 and 6. Basically this machine is very very fucking easy. So, uh, but but the, the, the part of the main map has taken so much time, so that's why I prefer to show you only the results of the nmap scan. Basically here the nmap scan, uh, the machine or the results starts from here so we have three ports open ports the ssh protocol rpc bind and fs so but as you can see we don't have any http um, port open protocol open port 
for HTTP protocol. So our way uh, inward will be only through SSH and NFS. Okay. Since we don't have so much information about the open SSH, we would like or we would have to dig through the NFS. Okay. So can you follow my so that's how to find the uh, sorry, the MRB results. Basically I skipped something here. Or let me uh, Okay. Okay, forget about this. Let me start. Or yeah, from here. Okay. So after you set up your network settings, you need to type or how do you know the IP address of the virtual machine? Basically, using net discover. Specify the network interface. In my case, it's uh, Ethernet zero and minus r for the range of the network how to determine the range so in our new terminal here just type if config and here you see the main network interface is ethernet 0 that's why i typed ethernet 0 here and the uh, my ip address is 192.68.1.7 and this is the net mask so here you get an idea about how the network configuration looks like so because of this my you here you type the network IP address not your IP address 81.0 and 24 okay you hit enter and you wait for the results to pop up mm. yes there is a typo here Okay, great. So this is the IP address, okay? You take this IP address and start your scan. Okay. So let me remove for first. Okay, no worries. So here we need to see the the NFS share. What has what the NFS share has for us? So show mount e. We specify the IP address of the machine again. Oh. Okay, okay, I got it. I have a typo. Gosh, I like this. Okay, so show mount. So here we have the shared folder, which is the shared export or the shared folder on the uh, vulnerable machine. So how can we mount this folder? First, let me make a directory on my desktop, call it 462. And from here, we need to mount the shared directory to 4 and 62. So mount T4. The, uh, the network file share type, which is NFS, the IP address of the machine, the targeted folder, the destination, which is 462. Great. So CD to 462. Uh, okay. So here we have. Okay, so I think I had to reset the machine because there are some folders that I uh, placed here, but no problem, forget about these folders. The only file that you will see is USB stick image here, okay? Again, you will not see those directories because those directories, I am the one who made those directories. But in your case, if you are doing the machine for the first time, you will see only USB stick image, okay? In order to mount this image, you need a directory or to create a directory in order to mount the image into. So make directory, call it image. Okay, 
then you mount the USB stick image to the destination folder which is image then you go to the directory which is image here see what we have all right so again forget about this directory this is because of my work but you will find these photos here and the first thing that may came to may come to your mind is what are those images having for us I mean you might use um, some stickle analysis too for example let's try strings hello five G D E okay so using strings on an arbitrarily chosen image I think we will not find anything okay but I just, I'm doing this in the context of how you can conduct your testing or city I think okay so again list so those images are useless and clueless so what do you need to do here okay so the next step that I'm gonna do I'm gonna tell you is or based on the fact that you have only two ports okay the 22 ports for SSH and the NFS protocol which we are going through right now so what's the next step is basically is kind of guessing you need to guess or you need to like to try that the root directory and the vulnerable machine could be shareable or the permissions on that directory may have not been set well okay so there might be uh, permissions misconfiguration on the root directory and during your testing in real scenarios or during um, a CTF game you will consider going directly to the root directory on the uh, vulnerable machine so how can I try and mount this directory of course I need to make directory on on here in order to mount the root directory into it so basically root 2 right so mount and now again NFS so here my target folder is root okay and the, the destination folder which is on my machine root 2 so let's see now root great so now we have successfully exported the root directory of the vulnerable hub or the, sorry the vulnerable machine which is point six. what was the main issue here so in this network feature of this vulnerable the main issue is that the uh, sysadmin or I mean the author of this machine has um, on purpose um, sorry excuse me so has on purpose made the root directory on the vulnerable hub to be shareable okay by settings permissions that everyone can use okay so and so the main issue in this machine that in the root directory or the privileged directory that or the sensitive directories uh, whose permissions are not set well so it could be seen by everyone so that's why we could we was able to gain access to the root directory and mount it to our machine the next step is finding the flag but before finding the flag you might see that we have SSH here okay but if you cd to SSH you will not find any kind of uh, RSA keys but you might think of creating an SSH key and writing this SSH public key into the authorized keys okay. but you don't need to do that since we are in the root directory so here we have the proof the TXT which is supposed to be the flag our cat here you go this is the flag 
and congrats uh, I hope you learned uh, from this machine and as I told you I will do all the all the machines don't worry about this and see you in the next video